possibly can. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My name is Valerie Sigler, S-I-G-L-E-R. I applaud the, the committee's efforts to clear up the gray areas. However, I do see a couple of areas that are going to cause us the same problems as we have with Initiative 148. Um, the first one, you're, you're trying to eliminate the black market, by, but, but by putting a limit of two ounces, you're creating a black market situation. Those who need more than two ounces will, have, will be buying it from those who don't need their two ounces, but will buy the entire two ounces so that they can support those who need more. And the ones that need more than two ounces are those probably that are trying to infuse their own, make their own butters, make their own medibles, make their own tinctures. It takes an ounce of medicine to make a pound of butter, which doesn't make that many cookies. So you'll really be eliminating some people's ability to medicate. Um, and also, when you're saying two ounces, we're dealing with the same thing as we are with Initiative 148. Two ounces of what? Two ounces of is the entire liquid counted as two ounces. If you've got a topical salve that doesn't even have any um, THC effects that you know is associated with cannabis, uh, is that two ounces count? You know, it's two ounces of what? What are we talking about again? Okay, just over a minute, ma'am. Okay, and then I just have one other question. The dispensary, the 70-30, I don't understand what the purpose of that is. Thank you, 